Value Trades. Welcome to the Value Trades Basic Trading Course. This is a series of videos designed to launch the journey of beginning traders in every aspect of trading with Value Trades. In this video, let's take a look at scalping strategies in ranging markets. In previous videos, we looked at the different market types, how to select which pairs to trade, and what precautions you need to take when scalping versus swing trading or intraday trading. Many of your existing range trading strategies will work with scalping as well. Identifying a suitable range to trade is often harder than identifying a trending market. Many range trade scalpers prefer to trade later in the New York session and or into the Asian session as the FX markets are less volatile. The advantage of a true range is that you may trade in both directions, both buy and sell, thereby doubling the opportunities. Plotting support and resistance levels is important, of course, but we need to determine if there's enough movement in price action relative to the spread. As we showed in previous videos, you should have the chart properties displaying the ask line to visually show the spread within the chart's price action. You can now compare the size of the range you wish to trade with the spread of your chosen symbol. Fortunately, value trade spreads are quite tight and you will find many instruments that meet this requirement. Here, however, we have a nice looking range forming, but in reality, price action is only covering five or six pips. Here is another one that looks larger, but don't be fooled by the automatic scaling by MT4, as this range spans only about six or seven pips. Ranges generally occur outside the London session, and here is one just before the European and London opening. Price action ranges between 12 and 17 pips, which is acceptable for scalping. You can see that peaks and troughs of price action most often line up with the reversals of the stochastic oscillator, giving you potential entry and exit points. A very basic strategy is to combine Bollinger Bands with the Stochastic Oscillator, or RSI if you prefer. The core of Bollinger Bands is the 20-period moving average. When you see this go more or less horizontal, you may consider this to be a ranging market. The strategy suggests that when price action crosses the 20-period moving average, comes near or touches the upper or lower band, the entry and exit can be confirmed by the oscillator. You should experiment with your favorite indicators, but keep in mind that scalping takes lots of practice. You need to study and understand the symbols you are trading and the sessions in which you are operating. Once you have the experience, confidence and time, scalping can become a profitable style of trading. That's all for now. In the next lesson, we will be looking at Heiken Ashi. Happy trading with Value Trades, and we will see you soon. CFDs and FX are leveraged products and your capital may be at risk.